Howard Wyndham. Uh, I'm a member artist at the Imago Gallery, and I have a show coming up soon uh, as featured artist. Uh, it's called Making Faces. Uh, this is the only one I use most of the time, but I make other ones. And I believe fully that everything we do is a self-portrait. Uh, what we eat in the morning, the way we get dressed, it's all a self-portrait. So I make faces, and I've been making faces. The ones up here behind me are, uh, over the past couple of years, uh, I've been making these pieces. Uh, I started with these wood panels and nailing things to it. What really started me was I was looking for something new to do. Uh, I was, uh, I went through chemotherapy a couple of years ago, and when I finally felt a little bit better when that was over, yes, uh, I was cleaning out my closet and I found a pair of old boat shoes, and I thought, oh, I can throw these out there, no good anymore. And I thought, you know, maybe I can do something with them. So I took them out to the studio, and the next thing I knew, I was cutting them up and making faces with them. And I found some of this old wood and, and started tacking them together. So I had these leather faces and, and started adding other things to it, bottle caps for eyes and odds and ends. And I've always been a collector of nonsense. And so using some of that stuff and other things that I found, I started making these characters. Uh, this character has not been titled yet. I, I like to make titles. And it's rusted pieces of metal, the eyebrows of leather. Uh, these are the kinds of things you tack on the bottom, the chair legs. Uh, the nose is a, a piece of a hacksaw tacked onto a, uh, a paint stirring stick. The mouth is an old razor blade, a piece of leather from a glove from job lot, and a lot of tacks. One of the newer pieces I've been working with is working in 3D. I've always been 2D. And this piece is uh, Stasis Shemayev. It's named for uh, two of my unknown mentors of sorts. One is a Lithuanian artist living in Poland, and the other is a New York designer. And I was looking online, and I saw the New York designer, Ivan Shemayev, uh, who does a lot of collage work, had some pieces in the show that looked very much like my smaller wooden pieces, except they had a few that were up on pedestals. And I thought, why not? So this was the first one of these new pieces that I did. And uh, I named it after the, the two guys. And, and Stasis is a, uh, as I say, he's, he's a poster artist in Poland, and he does some strange 3D work as well. Uh, this second piece is named Pan. And it's named for the Greek god, but it's also because it's a cooking pan uh, that I found just off Child Street one day, crushed, and uh, it's still flat. And the other piece over here is Geppetto's other son, and it's a Pinocchio kind of figure, but it's beginning to get more into the 3D aspect. It's also wood, and I've been, uh, my wife Carolyn had some trees cut down a couple of weeks ago, and I've been uh, toying with some of the logs that came out of that, and the next thing I knew I was making pieces like that. Uh, we're upstairs in my studio in the barn behind the house, and uh, I guess you're looking at me and you're looking at some of the collections of stuff that I've made. There's stuff behind the camera as well that's offbeat. Uh, I've always picked up garbage off the street. Generally we're standing up at this drawing table, and uh, I love to work in paper. I love to cut up pieces of paper. I use a number 11 scalpel, which is a trick I learned in England years ago. Most people here use X-Acto knives or razors, or I like scalpels. Uh, I have other knives around. I always have a handy mat knife or utility knife. And tweezers. I've got a whole gang of tools that I work with. And the... Uh, I brought some stuff here that I can play with, uh, cheap rulers, but this excites me for some reason to just take a, a knife and slice up a piece of paper. It comes out of my background in graphic design, where in the good old days we used to cut up pieces of paper. Uh, students now don't know what that means because everything's on a Macintosh. 
but uh, I just love doing this. And then I keep all kinds of papers on. I've got old calendars over here and posters and such. This is a piece of rather nice paper that I found at one point. It's a, got a crinkly texture to it. And uh, putting stuff like this together with glue sticks and uh, I keep little pieces of, I've got a box of stripedy papers and uh, textured papers, all kinds of stuff to play with. And they wind up, you know, here's a, here's a finished piece that hasn't been framed. Uh, it's kind of a, a joke about a map. Uh, one of my influences has been Saul Steinberg. I wish I could draw the way Saul Steinberg draws. But uh, he did some magnificent maps aside from the really famous one of uh, New York. And uh, most of my, my mentors, so to speak, have been eclectic. There have been people who, want, who are sort of, you know, are they really artists or not? I, I mentioned Ivan Shemayev before. Well, he has shows. He, he shows as an artist, but he's a graphic designer, let's face it. And there is still that uh, taboo of sorts in the arts that you're one thing or another. Uh, I don't care. So this is one of the newer pieces in progress. It's uh, an old tin can. I'm not even sure what this is. Uh, but it's rusted metal, an old uh, lock, piece of leather. And these will be, uh, I'll use tacks. I'll probably take this over into the, the basement where I've got a drill press and drill holes in it to put the tacks in and uh, try to keep it fairly neat. I'm not interested with these pieces in making them absolutely perfect. I kind of like the fact that they're rough and ready. Uh, the compositions sometimes come out of my graphic design background. And uh, these are kind of central compositions. But I use a lot of type and, and other things and, and other pieces that I do. I haven't incorporated that too much with these pieces, which might be kind of fun to do sometime soon. I, I've always had a kind of perverse sense of humor, which occasionally gets me into trouble. Uh, I'll say something and somebody gets offended by it. Sorry, all you people get offended by it. Uh, I like titling my work, for instance, and I usually look for something that is meaningful in the title, and something that's humorous. Uh, I think humor in art has always been a problem. Uh, people go to see Shakespeare's tragedies, but not so much the comedies. Uh, Paul Clay was one of the first serious artists to uh, be serious and at the same time have a whimsical quality. Uh, but I've always been a draw, drawn to that eclectic kind of thing with humor. Uh, the faces are important because I think we really we're, we gravitate toward faces. We see them everywhere. Uh, we see them in fire hydrants. We see them all over the place. Uh, I'm fascinated with people like Chuck Close. Uh, I think I have a little bit of his dilemma where he's got an ailment that he doesn't remember faces. If he meets you, he'll forget you the next day. And uh, I'm not comparing myself with Chuck Close. However, uh, you know, he's gone on to make a, a wonderful career painting faces. And so faces keep appearing in my work, whether I mean to or not, even if I'm doing something else than there. One of the things that has happened that I've been enjoying so much is that I felt like I was in a rut for a long time, kind of doing similar things, either in different media or not, but it, it just went on and on. And now I've been having a lot of fun doing a lot of different things, and it's coming quicker.